Ready? Ready? It's much so here we go. Round one is underway, and when he sat down with Matt Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste. Archer, there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Nice hammer fist. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back him out now. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> a lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. Misses again with a right punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! Wow! Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Under a minute to go in our opening round. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Good punch. Back and forth we go. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the staff guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready? And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful strike. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got it. Wow. Actually got the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. The Korean Superboy gets up, he is back on the feet here. Way to hide that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful fast swing jab with beating. Just out of range with the big right hand. Choice strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Quick entry. Great single entry. It takes the high punch to take it for us. All right, half guard. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhooks. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. <laughs> Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Out of range with that kick attempt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Big kick land. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Blocks the shot. Nice punch, man. Ooh, Ooh we what a right hand by this young man. Got a single collar tie. All 
right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like he entered pretty well, but once again, not able to take the opposition down. Just a great idea of what was in front of him by the opponent's shoe that he would have to defend multiple takedowns. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. That one's good, man. Nice fight. Ten minutes in the books. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Straight punch lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. He might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Left hand punch with the clinch. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big left hook there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Again, they clinch. Oh, nice timely trip there to get the takedown. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that hand. What a fantastic strike. Oh! to go in round three. Nice punch there. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Just missed with the left there. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Real quick leg kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just misses there with the left. All right, single collar. Take it down. Cover. 
taken down. Cut him over and over. He secured these takedowns. All right, side control now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Fighters back to their feet here. Real sneaky body kick. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job, Lance. He's hurt! He's hurt! Whoa! Nice hammer fist. And really starting to make these shots count. Fighter's pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful. What a round. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not gonna be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Nice great punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh! oh! Unbelievable. Get right here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the Korean Super Bowl. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Big leg kick lands. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight.
Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually